below. Join the community, guys. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And thumbs the video up if you enjoyed this video. You guys know what today marks, right? Today marks the four-year anniversary of Deontay Wilder becoming the WBC Heavyweight Champion of the World. Exactly four years ago today, January the 17th, Deontay Wilder beat and I boxed Bermain Stavern. I saw that live. I'll never forget. It was a monumental moment for American boxing fans because American heavyweight boxing fans because it had been so long since an American had held a version of the heavyweight championship of the world. So it was a proud moment for us. And I remember when I watched that, I thought to myself, okay, eventually he'll fight Vladimir Klitschko. Eventually, he will unify. It's been four years, and Wilder has still not unified. Which is kind of sad, to be honest with you. Actually, I, actually, it's very sad, and it's pathetic. I don't want to be sitting here one day and making a video saying, it's the 6th, uh, it's the 7th. Uh, God forbid, it's the 10th anniversary of Deontay Wilder winning his WBC belt. And he's still just defending his WBC belt. I really hope not. I really hope not, people. It's just amazing to me that it's been four years and Deontay Wilder is still only the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. During these four years, Anthony Joshua has won three fucking belts. During these four years, Vladimir Klitschko lost his belt. Lost his belts, I should say, to Tyson Fury. During these four years, several champions have won belts. Several champions have attempted to unify in other weight divisions. You know, four years ago, Tyson Fury and uh, Mr. Anthony Joshua were pretty much prospects, especially Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua had maybe around nine fights. Yeah, he maybe nine, ten fights. He had very little fights. Boy, how things change, huh? Four years later, he's the unified champion. And it's just sad to me that, you know, it's been four years and I have to be making a video saying, why the fuck is Anthony Joshua the unified heavyweight champion of the world and not Deontay Wilder? Because it should be Deontay Wilder. Because four years ago, Anthony Joshua was just a prospect. Deontay Wilder was not. Deontay Wilder had 30 plus fights. Deontay Wilder had more fights than Anthony Joshua currently has right now four years ago. That's sad. Matter of fact, he had about 10 more fights than Anthony Joshua currently has right now than he had 10 years ago. Yet, Anthony Joshua somehow managed to unify and surpass him. It's sad, people. This has to be the year for change for Deontay Wilder. It really does. It has to be the year for change. Honestly, people, like... Somebody has to change. This has to change. This has to be the year where Deontay Wilder finally attempts to unify. Finally, you know, after you get through the Tyson Fury rematch, forget about Dominic Brazil. Forget about Dominic Brazil, man. Dominic Brazil is irrelevant. The guy fought once in the past. And the guy has fought once in the past two years, man. He's irrelevant. Nobody wants to see that fight. Nobody wants to see Dominic Brazil versus De Deontay Wilder, man. I mean, maybe just for the entertainment purposes because, you know, Dominic Brazil versus Deontay Wilder will end in a knockout. So maybe for that reason, people might want to see. I mean, at least I would want to see it for that reason. Just because I know Dominic Brazil will get starched out. I know he'll get knocked out if he fought Deontay Wilder. 100%. 100%. Uh, there's no no uh, no way Dominic Brazil can beat Deontay Wilder. But don't go for Dominic Brazil. If you get past, and that's a big if, because you might end up losing. But if you do manage to get past Tyson Fury, stop it. Don't go after Dominic Brazil. It's been four years, Wilder. You've been a champion for four. You've been holding on to that belt for four years. Go for the other belts. Go for the other champion. That's all I have to say, guys. It's just letting you guys know. Four, year anniversary, four years passed quick, by the way. Damn, man. I still remember like that, like yesterday when he fought Bermain. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And thumbs the video up if you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.